India is on the verge of creating space history. With ISRO successfully test firing the liquid apogee motor, the orbiter's propulsion system, hopes are high. Though the main liquid engine was test fired for only 4 seconds, it was a crucial move to make sure that the spacecraft approached the red planet at the right altitude. With each maneuver executed with precision, expectations are high at the space center. But scientists are awaiting with bated breath the most crucial and final stretch of the 300 days journey. On 24th September, ISRO will begin the orbit insertion exercise at 4.17 a.m. The spacecraft's main engine will be fired at 7.17 a.m. for about 24 minutes, imparting a deceleration force of 1,098.7 meters per second to enable the spacecraft to slip into an orbit with the nearest distance of 423 km to the red planet and the farthest distance of 80,000 km. In case the main liquid engine fails to fire, ISRO will have to switch to plan B. It will have to use eight smaller thrusters to slow the spacecraft, enough for capture by the red planet, resulting in use of more fuel. If everything goes as planned, the spacecraft will enter the Martian orbit by 7.53 a.m. Twelve minutes later, at around 8.15 a.m., the world will know if India has achieved the feat. The first set of pictures are expected to arrive in the afternoon. If successful, the mission will help India study the planet's surface and mineral composition and scan its atmosphere for methane, a chemical strongly tied to life on Earth. The historic event will be witnessed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi from the Space Agency's Mission Control Centre in Bangalore. The success will be a boost for the PM's resolve to make India a stronger player in the space technology market. ISRO scientists will insert the Mars Orbiter mission into the Mars orbit tomorrow between 7.14 to 7.30 a.m. And thus the Prime Minister will witness this historic milestone in the space exploration history. ISRO's Rs 450 crore Mars mission, launched on 5th November 2013, is the cheapest voyages undertaken by any space-faring nation. And if successful, India will become first country in the world to insert a spacecraft into the Martian orbit. In its very first attempt, it will put ISRO among a league of three other agencies that have achieved success on missions to Mars. The spacecraft is scheduled to enter the orbit of Mars exactly 48 hours after NASA's 16th successful Mars mission with its MAVEN spacecraft on Monday. According to NASA, out of 51 missions to the Red Planet by different countries, only 21 have been successful and no country has managed it in the first attempt so far now. With just hours to go for the final lap, all eyes are set on India to see if it achieves the feat in its very first attempt. With Aisha Khanum from Bangalore, Newsnight Desk, TD News.